Hey guys, here are the stocks I'll be watching the closest tomorrow after the CPI data drops. Obviously, if it comes in hotter than expected, right, the small cap interest rate sensitive stocks, there's probably gonna be a dip. So I'm gonna wait for that dip before entering, okay, and dollar cost averaging into my long-term account, okay? And then also I'm gonna do some short-term swing trades, which I'll talk about here. So number one, Skywater Technology. This is ticker symbol SKYT. This is the only US owned pure play silicon foundry, okay, in the US. So that is big guys. And with the CHIPS Act likely to benefit this company at some point, they already applied for some, so, uh, some funding from them, which I believe they'll get eventually to build out their Minnesota facility. I think this stock will continue to rise again because it's AI and semiconductor combined. Those are the, the two key buzzwords we know today and those are the two segments that have the highest growth. And like I said, you have to look at how much technology is out there, how many chips are now needed in each device. And that's why you gotta be in the semiconductor industry. Even though it's gone up a lot, it's just the beginning guys if you're looking long-term, okay? So it's not too late. So. In that space, so Skywater Technology is one I'll be looking at adding to, okay? I already own some, but I'll be looking at adding in my long-term account, okay? If inflation comes in lighter than expected, then I'll be adding you know, even more to that and I'll probably swing trade it in my short-term account, okay? Next one is Semtech, ticker symbol SMTC. You heard me talk about this one, also AI, semiconductor stock, okay? This one has had some excellent momentum after their latest earnings guidance they raised their revenue guidance and management said they have gone from a stable business to a growing business again. So that's huge guys. And this is a small cap as well. So both of those first two, I'm really excited about for the long-term potential of guy where they can become a mid cap or large cap, you know, with this AI boom taking place. All right. So those are two small caps I'm looking at. Also, you know, upstart. Okay. Obviously if, in, if, inflation comes in lighter than expected, I'll be loading up on Upstart because that's the most interest rate sensitive stocks. Stock, that one will go up probably the most out of anything if it comes in light. So remember that. If it comes in hotter than expected, I will not be touching Upstart until it dips and then I'll consider buying it again, okay? So those three small caps. Then for the big cap names, Nvidia dropped about 3% last time I checked. I'll be looking to play a bounce back trade with that one, probably buying a little in my long term and also short term swing trading that one. And then SMCI dipped back into the 800. So I'm gonna look to enter that one as well. I actually got out of that, took my profits in the thousands. And now I'm going to buy back in at least a share with my long term for now. And then short term swing trade that one again, if the inflation comes in lighter than expected, because that one will still be affected. Not as much as like upstart some of those names, but it will still, you know, since SMCI is still, you know, a mid cap, um, has a um, mid-sized market cap, right? It's still gonna be affected a little bit there, but I'll look to swing trade that one. And then also Lululemon, I'll be looking to add that one in my long-term account because I, I believe that will be a Nike one day. They have that brand loyalty and they're getting into so many different countries around the globe. And it's not just, you know, women's, you know, where it's apparel now, it's shoes, it's men's, right? And they're growing nicely in China and elsewhere. So I like getting in that one on the dip. Also Palo Alto Networks, you heard me talk about because cybersecurity, that's a great name. They had a minor hiccup with their last earnings report, but the dip is worthy of getting bought because cybersecurity will always be needed. And this is one of, you know, this company is growing and they have one of the cheaper valuations among, you know, the cybersecurity stocks. I also like CrowdStrike and Okta in that sector, okay? Also Cloudflare, okay? Which that's a one that's more interest rate sensitive, okay? But I'll, I'll be looking at that one as well to add to my long-term because I like what they're doing, okay? So those are some I'll be looking at. Just wanted to give you guys some ideas for tomorrow. Let's hope this inflation report comes in lighter than expected. Tom Lee still believes it's gonna come in light even with oil prices higher and all that. So it'll be interesting to see, guys. Obviously, the small cap stocks, if it comes in lighter than expected, will probably go up a lot.